I'm, I'm your average geeky nerd guy, so, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm a fan of a lot of things, but my top fandoms are probably Doctor Who, um, which uh, I've been a fan of since before I can remember. Um, my dad is British, and so he grew up watching it. I mean, he, he remembers when the first episode came out. And so, I mean, I was born in the States, but when I was born, they were showing episodes on PBS. And so from a young kid, two, three years old, I was watching it with him. Um, the episode that sticks in my mind the most from when I was a kid is an episode called The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, uh, which is a Seventh Doctor episode. And this is about a, basically a, um, a circus with a killer clown. And I was so terrified of that episode when I was a kid um, that I actually had to ask my wife to watch it with me. Now, as a grown-up, as a 32-year-old man, I asked my wife to watch it with me because I was afraid I would really freak out. I am married to a very lovely woman named Kate who is very patient with me. She's wonderful. She's um, very smart. She's very funny. Um, we have a very similar sense of humor, sense of the world. Um, not so similar that we don't get into nice disagreements every once in a while, and you have to have those to kind of keep things interesting. Um, but she's really a, a wonderful partner. Um, and I have two wonderful dogs, Slinky and Rosie, whom I miss because they're not here. Um, and three cats. Enough said. Now, the cats are nice, although um, two of them, they're actually, the two of them are Kate's. Um, she brought them into the marriage. And it was either the cats, uh, it was either um, I accepted the cats or I left. So I decided to accept the cats. Uh, but one of the cats is mine. And they all, they all get along, um, but her cats, Kate's cats, are like, they can't, they're, you can't leave them. Like, they're horrible. They, they will, like, will come up and scratch you on your, like, inner thigh, and they'll, like, like knock over things. It's like, it's like having, like, a two-year-old constantly who sheds. I, I laugh at everything. I laugh at stupid jokes. I laugh at dirty jokes. I laugh at um, the stupidest things. Um, and I laugh at really intelligent things. I think laughter is very uh, uh, freeing and important. And so I try and laugh as often and as much as I can. My favorite kind of laugh is when I tell a joke in class and no one laughs but me because I haven't meant to say something, but it has come out and I've, I've been tickled that I said something. I'll just be like, <laughs> because I've said something that no one has laughed at. <laughs>